Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and my mom's on the show today. This is Ingrid Turner. Hi. Hi. Today we're going to show you a really tasty, tasty recipe for how to grill Napa Jack's Merlot Barbecue Eye of Round Steaks. I know it's a mouthful, but it's going to be a tasty mouthful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now these are my eye of round steaks. They've been aged and I'm ready to go. They're marinating steaks. You don't want to just throw them on your grill without marinating them. No, you want to tenderize them up a little bit with some tasty flavors and get them ready to go. Okay? So first things first, I like to put them in a resealable Ziploc bag because Good idea. I don't want it getting all over my um, fridge when I'm marinating this because this is going to go for a couple of hours. So we're using this Napa Jack's Merlot barbecue sauce. And if you haven't seen our review on it, you need to check it out. This stuff is ridiculously tasty. We've used it on meat, we've used it in uh, salad dressing, and it goes a long way. I know it doesn't look like we've used a lot. We didn't need to use a lot because it is so flavorful. You can use it for a marinade, which we're doing tonight. We're gonna use it tonight to baste as well, mm -hmm. the steaks while they're on the grill. And you can also serve it as a dipping sauce. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. First things first, I'm gonna put in a bay leaf. I'm gonna put in a couple peppercorns. That's a real good way to marinate things. I think so too, Mom. Where did efficient, I learn that from? Efficient. Where did I learn that from? <laughs> I can't imagine. I couldn't imagine either. A couple of chili flakes. I'm not gonna put any salt. Okay, this now has some salt in it, but I don't want to add any extra salt because salt, yeah, salt tends to draw the uh, liquid out of your meat and you want to keep your meat moist, right? Absolutely. All right, so this barbecue sauce is full of ridiculous flavor. Oh, <laughs> it has, flavors of that. it's tangy, it's sweet, so it's spicy, it's smoky, and you can really taste that Merlot. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons in here because I want to get a really good tasting of this here. Maybe two tablespoons, would you say, Mom? Oh, that's plenty. Okay. Especially if you're adding the wine to it. Yes, something. yes, ma'am. So I'm going to loosen it up a little bit with some olive oil. Maybe a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. And if you have any nice Merlot wine, because this is a Merlot sauce, I would suggest a Merlot wine. But if you don't have a Merlot wine, you can use any red that you really like. Sure. Well, you don't have to use it at all because this has lots of flavor. But I have a really nice um, 2007 Meritage from Rancourt Winery here in Niagara. And this Napa Jacks um, comes from winecountrykitchens.com. So I'm sure they'll appreciate that we're using extra wine from yes. a really nice wine country too. <laughs> so this is a Meritage um, and it's a blend of Merlot, Cab Sauve, and Cab Franc. Okay, so in it goes. I'm putting, it looks like a tablespoon and a half. It's mm -hmm. the end of my bottle. But that's okay, because we just need a little bit. We're just using two beautiful steaks tonight. And now we're going to close this up. Now, if you wanted to add mustard to this, you can. A little bit of dry mustard. You could even use prepared mustard. Yeah. But I don't think it's necessary. I really want to get that winey flavor into this beef. Sure. Sure. It's going to be beautiful. Plus, wine is a natural meat tenderizer. Right? That's right. So and it's nice to use a wine that you would drink yes. when you're doing marinades because if you're not, if it's not good enough to drink, you don't want to soak your meat in it. Absolutely. So that's just enough marinade to really coat these steaks. And they're going to sit covered um, in, in this bag in my refrigerator for a couple of hours tonight until I'm ready to grill them up. So into the fridge they go and you'll see us then. Yes. That's it. Okay, these steaks have been marinating for a good, what, three hours, mm -hmm. I would say? Yes. And they're ready to go. I took them out of the fridge about mm, 30 minutes ago so that they could kind of not be so cold when you put them on that grill. Now, my grill is preheated on high, and all we need to do right now is achieve some beautiful grill marks on each side. So, we're going to put them on this grill, and it's only going to be two or three minutes per, right. per movement. So I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and make beautiful cross hatch right. pattern. And then we're going to flip it over. So because here's this beautiful it's sort stuff. of already has been cooking. That's right. It's, it's been, been marinating. marinating. So onto the grill it goes. Just what that want. sound. <laughs> There's a sizzle. Whoop. Now, I'm going to use the rest of this marinade to baste really quickly. It's not going to be a lot of time to baste. We need to do it. ASAP. Mm, that smells so heavenly. Now, if you don't have much of the marinade left, just use the Merlot barbecue sauce right out of the bottle. Yeah. So on it goes. Now for dessert, we're having a really awesome grilled orange and cantaloupe with a cherry cabernet caramel. Make sure that you check out that recipe because it's going to be fantastic. 
We also made a fantastic romaine salad with baby kale, apple, and sheep's milk cheese. Man, with a sweet and smoky mustard and nectarine vinaigrette. Awesome. it has been a really good menu tonight, I'll tell you what. So let these just go for a couple minutes. Okay, we should have beautiful grill marks right now. Yes, we do. Look at that. Woo-wee. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to turn it a 90 degrees just to get a nice cross hatch pattern. Lovely. Man, I can't wait. I'm going to baste it once more again quickly. This will be my last chance. All right, it's been a couple more minutes. We should have a beautiful cross hatch pattern. We do. We're going to turn these over. Fantastic. Okay, we've got beautiful grill marks and we're gonna turn it again. Oh, I wish you guys could smell that. It smells so heavenly. <laughs> you wanna make sure if you, um, that everyone gets it the same uh, doneness they like. I'm doing one a little bit uh, longer than the other to be well done because that's what they prefer. And we prefer the uh, medium rare, so. Okay, these are done. I'm actually gonna take them off of the grill here. Look how beautiful that is. Right? Can you see those awesome grill marks? Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna let these sit and rest. They need to chill out for a little while. At least five minutes, I'm gonna cover them with a nice loose foil tent and let them rest. If you cut into them now to eat them, not only is it hot and it's gonna burn you, but all the juices are gonna flow out and it's the whole opposite of what you want. You want a nice, moist, juicy steak. You don't want a dry steak. Even the one that's done a little bit longer should still be moist even though it's done. Um, so this is gonna sit for five minutes and just rest until we're ready to serve. Okay, these steaks have been resting. They're happy, happy. Mm. You wanna try one? Mm -hmm. All right. Try a piece of that, mommy. I'm gonna try mm. Now there's extra sauce here if you want it because this stuff is so good. Oh boy. Hot? That sauce is so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. So look at how beautiful that is. Nice and succulent and delicious. Mm. So delicious. So that's how you grill a Napa Jack's Merlot barbecue eye of round steak. So easy, you're gonna marinate it and then you're just gonna babysit it on there really quick. It doesn't take a long time. Delicious. I hope that you guys try it too and you check out the whole line of these Napa Jack's barbecue sauces because they are really outstanding. Really, really delicious. Check out winecountrykitchens.com for more information on these guys and those spice rubs and a whole bunch of other delicious foodie things. Now, yeah? Mm -hmm. You happy with that? Mm -hmm. That's going to go good with our corn on the cob that was roasted with side skewers tonight mm -hmm. and we did a beautiful romaine salad with apple and baby kale and that sheep's milk. So delicious. Anyhow, that's it, that's all. Make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. This show is brought to you by Wine Country Kitchens. They bring Napa Valley to your table. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye.